You know, when you get doping tested for the very first time, and when you have someone looking at you peeing to make sure that you are not cheating, he, and he's watching like a hawk that is watching over its prey, and you are not uh, used to it, it can be one of the most weirdest experiences you will ever have. Trust me. For those who, who don't know this, I got the doping tested uh, while I was at the Swedish Nationals this year in Helsingborg. And it was a really interesting experience, to say the least. And we are gonna uh, talk quickly about the, the class. It was... It had over 19 uh, polars in total. And it was the largest class the minus 70 class has ever had. Which was an incredible experience and it was an honor of mine. Uh, to pull against these badasses of polars. And uh, when I finally secured my bronze medal and my friends was uh, coming over to me and congratulated me, an elderly man came towards me and said, uh, Hello, you will now be doping tested. And my reaction was like, My first test! And I shook his hand and introduced myself to the man from the doping committee. And he had this uh, really surprised look on, on his face. Like, like he was really surprised with the reaction that I had. Like he was used to, with athletes uh, to be nervous and all of that. I got into the small room and uh, another athlete was there getting her testing as well. She was also very happy to be tested. <laughs> it's like a Swedish thing, yeah. when uh, you get... The, the top doping test call, Ev everybody in the Swedish community is like <laughs> Almost like that. I got a clear instruction on what I shall do and the meat of this uh, funny story was what uh, when he asked uh, if I took any performance enhancing supplements, medicine, anything in that regard and I was like, uh, well does the coffee count? And their reaction we're like this. I shit you not. <laughs> you serious? And after that, when I peed in the small container jar, we also had a small chat about the doping tests and manipulations that happens within the walls of Bavada. And we talk about the documentary Icarus, which I highly recommend you watching, cause it goes a lot with the incidents that happened within the Winter Olympics in Sochi 2014. It's a really informative uh, documentary about the scandals and manipulations of the test uh, that is happening within the walls of Vada. But they ensured me that these types of events will never happen in Sweden, so I took the word for it, since in Sweden the doping committee is very strict in matters like this. And to be honest, I got really demoralized when I saw that, how much uh, manipulations that is uh, going on. But after marinating it for a few hours, I got even more motivated to kick the shielders' asses, to beat them even though they have the advantage. Bring it on! In, uh, in my home club, uh, Stormman Arms Sport, we have a saying that goes something like this. If we know uh, that uh, we have a cheater in that uh, class, it gives us more motivation to kick his or her asses. To show that uh, we can still win even though they have the illegal advantage. And the interesting part of, after my experience from this, I heard from a friend that uh, that people were talking about this incident, that uh, they were really surprised that someone was that happy to be tested and was absurdly polite to this uh, doping committee here in Sweden. And I have to say, I look forward the next time they will test me, because I will show them that I am all about fair play. Cheaters will exist everywhere, with, within sports and so on, but uh, do not get demoralized by it. Use it as fuel to kick their asses. We in the Storm and our sports are doing it. And so can you. So yeah, so hope you like my newest video series on this channel. Where I talk about my experience in different uh, circumstances. And if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe before a multitude of videos that are coming out on this channel. And have a great day. And keep being awesome. Yeah, gotta drink on my...
Dead Move Mug to get me some Dead Move power.